Ouija board in your, in, in, in your massage room. We don't believe in the devil. All right, Nick, I know you do. All right, it's clear. Wow. No, it's clear. You believe in that, you believe in that dark shit, all right? I don't believe in that dark shit. And it's about time y'all start realizing the mother, this is the mother of Nick. You guys aren't his mother. You guys aren't his family. You, you guys aren't, you, you're not Nick's family, okay? Like, you're not his family. You're, you, you, like, you're not fucking, you know, you're not his wives. You're, you, you're not, you're not, what is this, sister wives? Like, the fuck is this? What y'all think, you, you have a chance with Nick? Don't listen to it. Don't listen to it. Let me tell you, in between, we can get a lot of truth out here, okay? Don't listen to there's no accusation. I don't make accusations. I speak the truth. We we want Nick to wake up to reality here, okay? Or else it's gonna be or else it's gonna be too late, bro. You're gonna get too far in and you're gonna get consumed by fame and fortune. And you know what? What are you gonna be left with? Everything for the gram. Let me put up a picture for the gram. Let me put up. Let's just dress up in our you know our, our our Buccaneers outfits and do a picture, Lauren. Like no, all right. I'll take a Everything picture in the mirror with my gun and Everything. my my boot my girl, my woman's ass <laughs> sticking out. All right, I don't care. I'm Everything different. Everything is staged with him. Everything is staged, and they think I'm staged. They think I'm some sort of like I'm making up. I I I speak the truth. If I didn't. Come at me, bro. Come at me with a lawsuit. Sue me for defamation of character and slander, and I'll hit you. I'll counter sue you for seven different felonies. And if you do decide to sue me, and you, it, but they can't because they'll be making a big mistake. I already talked to the district attorney. Um, if you do, Mama Bear is going to be there. All right? Mom, someone just goes. They just asked me. They said, are you loaded? honesty in me. You have no idea. Nick Carter, you are going to find out that I uh, uh, cannot be shut up. I cannot be shut up. No, and you know what? He tried to shut you up. He tried. <laughs> he tried. And you know what? I only empower my mom to have her voice back because she deserves the recognition. The only reason why a thousand of you are watching this right now, okay, is because... I can yeah. be vindicated. My mom will be vindicated. I will, I will be the one to help vindicate her, Nick. I will be the patriarch of the family. You are not the patriarch of the family. I am. Who would you say is the patriarch of the family now, mom? You are because your grandpa, John, was very, very disappointed in Nick. And do you end of his life? Very, very disappointed. So, he told me, he told me on his deathbed. I love you so much, and tell Aaron I love him. And what did he give you? He gave you his favorite suit, okay? He gave you. He and, and guess what? And guess what else happened? Oh my God! This is another thing. At Dad's funeral, my Dad's funeral. Remember, you were there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Nick came, and he he ran out, and Lauren would not sit with the family. Yeah, Lauren sat on the other side of the thing and not with our family. And she did not sit with the family. And, and, and then Nick ran out and he was supposed to be a pallbearer and carrying the casket of my father. And he left early. And you know who was carrying him? You know who was carrying Grandpa? He broke his back because Greg had to fill in and they did not have enough people to carry that freaking coffin to the car. And then he wouldn't even show up to the grave site. Yep. You're a fucking coward. Fuck you, Nick. Fucking coward. I want to thank you right now. You know what? It, it, it's all right. You know, everybody is entitled to their emotions. And then there's these people I on the internet. In. A long time. I've held it in for a long time. Nick, literally, yeah. Someone goes, he wimped out on being a pallbearer. Yep, didn't he? He left. He said, "Oh, I gotta leave." The grave site. Okay. He didn't even go. He yeah. didn't even go to the grave site. I was there. All right. I sang a song for my grandpa on his funeral, and I'm the one who. It was Nick was supposed to be with me, and I had to. I had to, uh, with my stepdad. I had to take on that weight. And you know what? I'm stronger. I fucking picked that shit up, and I. I carried my. I carried my my grandpa, 
and I and I was I'm Catholic, so I was allowed in. My husband Greg stepped in and did it too. Yep. Yeah. Greg, yep. My 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 stepdad was in there and he stepped in and took over the place. Some goes, it's a train wreck. You can't look away. This is not a train wreck. You guys are backstreet so boys. Okay? Uh, the family and everybody idolized fucking Dick Carter. Come on. It's because they're pathetic, mom. All they want is they want a picture with a bear. They're infatuated. They're, they're, they're infatuated with the, the, uh, the in, enamored by Backstreet Boys. These are not your fans. These are Nick's people that are stalking you, okay? They're not your fans, so don't engage with them. Please. They said true family train wreck. No, this is not a true family train wreck. <laughs> have to engage with fighting with them, but you can engage with telling them some truth about their little idol. Okay? I keep trying to tell them, but they don't believe me, but here you go. Let them digest it for a while. Come on. Aaron, they could never prove I stole the money because I never did. All right? So what the We cleared that up. We did we we did marriage boot camp. You didn't do anything suffered. wrong. You're an amazing mother. I You're a man that was cheating on me all the time, and I tried to keep my family together. And what is wrong with that? What is wrong with that? I suffered. Someone goes, this is the truth, people. Wake up. Jane Carter is telling you the truth. Aaron is telling you the truth. You guys want... Uh, to listen to uh, uh, to wise, then go go listen to the people who are lying to you, but they're trying. None of Nick's fans blame him for disowning his crazy family. <laughs> really? Well, you know what? We disown you. We, we disown you too. We disown you too, Nick. All right, because I would never ever go out to a bar when my wife was pregnant with my my seven month old child and get arrested for choking somebody out because they refused to give me alcohol at the Hogs Breath Saloon. And then try to use yeah. and say, I'm a backstreet boy. I'm a backstreet boy sitting on there. I'm a backstreet boy. Let me out. <laughs> try to bribe the cops. You're a bitch. You should have took it like a man and said, you know what? Let's go. Just like I did. Let's go. Yeah, I fucked up. Let's go. Take me in. Aaron, you and I need to do some of these podcasts for a while because I've got a lot to vent and we have a reality show to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, we do. Oh, yeah. There's uh, we have over a thousand people watching this right now. So, yeah. And there and there's there, someone's like, ha ha ha. What the fuck, Nick? Uh, it, 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 they, they just heard you talk. And now a lot of their a lot of their shit's changing. Someone said this is going to be on TMZ. Cool. Put it on TMZ. All right. Put it on TMZ. Put it on. Put it on. I'll send you Charlie Neff's number, Mom. <laughs> so. No, I don't want to talk to TMZ directly. Fuck them. <laughs> she don't want to talk to TMZ either. Fuck them. That's what she just said. That's how I feel about it. 